With Fiddlefly, if you can design it, you can deploy it on Fiddlefly's platform. So here we are looking at a mobile website designed right inside Photoshop. So everything, uh, logo, nice little banner at the top, your navigation, and your social media. So what I did here is now that I've designed, I've actually started to slice this up. So I have them hidden right now, but to show you that all I did was I, I, I sliced, sliced this whole thing up into pieces just like I would a website. Logo on top, banner in the middle, my navigation, plus my social media buttons. So it's all sliced up and now saved into a folder. Let me show you the folder that it's all saved into. There's all my slices. There's all the pieces to my mobile site. So now that I have all the pieces, I want to bring them to life. All of these are saved as PNGs. Let me bring them to life in Fiddlefly. So I want to start a new project. I'm going to call it Shopped. Brand new screen. What I want to start with is uploading the logo. There's my logo. I want to get rid of the menu for now. I want to bring in an image. Drop the image in. Browse. Get my banner ad. There it is. Now, I want to create custom navigation. So what I'm going to do is, is exactly what I did in my Photoshop. Here's my tips navigation page. Next one is shop. Next one is fun. You can use the existing social media tool that we have here. Simply dragging it in and you would copy and paste your Facebook, your LinkedIn, your Twitter URL, sorry, your LinkedIn. Okay, so you could, you could use our social media tool or like we did here, as you can see, we designed custom social media tools. We're gonna go back, we're gonna drag in the text editor Okay. Clear it. We're going to upload images. So what I'm going to do is in my cloud, remember this is you saving it to the cloud. In my cloud for this project, I'm going to upload an image. And I can choose as many as I want. I'm going to take Facebook. I'm going to take the LinkedIn. I'm going to take the Twitter. I can add more fields if I need to, to bring in more images to save to the cloud. And once it's saved to the cloud, you can use this anywhere. You remember from previous tutorials, you can use this uh, from any computer anywhere, as long as you're logged into your account. So then I'm going to grab Facebook. Okay, there it goes. Then I'm going to grab the Twitter. And then LinkedIn. So there we have it. All of them lined up. Highlight them all. Center them. Good to go. Now I want to move this down so it can be below, just like I had in my design. And we're all set. Our home page is designed. Next thing we have to do is just link. But as you can see, right from Photoshop into development. In a few easy steps, we went from having a flat design to now having uh, an almost finished custom mobile website with custom navigation, custom icons, um, the whole shebang. So now that we have the design put in, now we want to publish this. But before we publish it, we want to create some of the layers, some of the pages, like the tips and the shop and the fun. So to add pages, we go right up here. Add the first page, which is tips, just like we have it named there. Next page, which is shop. Next page, which is fun. 
So now that all of these pages are created, let me show you what it would look like if we were to drag in the navigation and then use custom navigation, which is what we created here, but actually use the navigation that our platform provides. So there you see the navigation tips, shop, fun, just like we have there. All right, so let's publish this and show you guys the next step. Go to publish and I give it a domain name, shopped, publish, and now the site's published. By the way, since we're on the screen, let me let you know that this is the redirect code. This is a code that you would place inside the head tag of the desktop site for this particular mobile site and it will automatically create a redirection to the mobile site. So it's like a fork in the road. If you're coming from a mobile device, you'll get the mobile site. You're coming from a desktop device, you're going to see the desktop site. So now that we're published, let's take a look and see what it looks like right on our phone. Now this is what the site looks like when it's published. As you can see, we got the right domain name in there. And if we scroll, we can see the rest of the site. You can see the buttons at the bottom, the, the icons for your social media. You can see all the navigation is in. Next thing we need to do is connect the navigation to the proper pages. So we're going to do that now. And also, we want to connect our social media so it goes to the right social media pages. So let's get to that step right now. Now, let's make each one of these navigations a live link. When they tap on Shop, they go to a page that looks like this. And obviously, they're not completely designed yet, but we need to create these links so they're live. So one of the easiest ways to do that is once you've published the site, you see a, a button appear here, which is a QR code generator. This QR code generator can generate a QR code for any page, and it will link right to that page. So we're going to use this section to just simply copy the link, close this down, go to the tips image, and insert image URL. Okay, now this image is linked to this URL. We're going to do the same thing for shop. So we go down to shop, paste it in, and then we do it for fun, copy, go to fun, paste it in, and we're all set. Now these are live links. We also want to do the same thing for the social media links. Right now they're just images, but we want to bring them to life. So what I want to do is highlight Facebook, go to our Facebook account, copy, create a link, paste in the link, OK, go to Twitter, copy, select Twitter, insert link, paste, OK, and finally go to LinkedIn, copy, paste in the link, okay and we're all set so now now that we republish the site all of these will be live links and I'll show you that in just one second so now that we've republished it you can see it's the same site that we had before but now the buttons work that goes to that page okay we want to go back All the links are, are saved. Go to Facebook. There you have it. Everything is linked. Everything works great. And we're all set. Okay. If we want to show shop, there's the shop page. Again, we don't have a design, but you can see all the links work. Very good.